Hey guys, Savvy here. What's good, y'all? So, as you can see, I'm wearing a different green sweater this time. So, you're welcome. I'm also not wearing any glasses. Green's my favorite color, so. So, today. <laughs> All right guys, so today I'm going to be sharing all of my secrets with you guys on how I get my vinyl records, where I find them so cheap, um, how I seal them. So I'm gonna seal that one that we did last week for you guys, um, show you how I seal it, and then I'm gonna show you how you can hang it at home, how I hang them. It's super easy, super chill, so I'm gonna show you a couple ways, okay? Get ready. First things first, where do you get your vinyl records? So. So I get my vinyl records from Half Price Books, man. And the cool thing about Half Price Books is it's half price, so okay. <laughs> but also at Half Price Books, they have a very like, uh, what are you saying? Hold on. So at Half Price Books, they have your standard rack of vinyl records, right? They're usually between like 10, 20, 30 bucks if you get the brand new ones, right? That's not what we're doing. Underneath all of those, there's a very bottom rack. On that bottom, why am I doing that? Uh -huh. Okay. So on that bottom rack, the very, very bottom one, you're gonna find super scratched up vinyl. Some of them may not even have album covers, so you can kind of pick and choose. Um, they're gonna be super scratched, and when you're painting them, you don't need ones that work, right? And they're gonna be, I mean, I've gotten some that are 50 cents. Ugh, okay, a steal. I've gotten some that are 50 cents, 20 cents, a dollar. Usually they're not more than $2 on that bottom rack. So that's what I do. And a lot of times you'll find cool ones like, so maybe not the coolest, but <laughs> I just love this one. I don't know why. She just looks crazy, you know? Cher. Okay, you can find cool ones and really vintage ones like Sunny and Cher. Leonard Skinner. Okay, I'll admit those aren't my coolest ones, but I found a lot cooler ones there before, y'all. And they're really good prices. I mean, that's all I have to offer you. Really good prices. But whatever right if you're looking for very specific ones you can go on amazon i get my stuff from amazon too sometimes so the next question i get is how do you seal your record after you paint it what's the stitch yo this is what i use it's super easy to use the only thing don't get it on your hands y'all that's what I do, but don't do it. It's not good for your skin. It's not good for you. And it'll get really sticky and it'll get really hard on your skin, man. It don't feel good. Word? So I usually take my vinyl records outside because you don't want to spray this stuff inside. Okay. I use your noggin. I usually do two to three coats. So I'll spray in a circle around the vinyl record and I'll show you guys too. So check it out word all right guys we're going to start by making sure our bottle is fully shaken and then we are going to go ahead and start making sure that there's no loose hairs or anything on our vinyl before we start spraying when we do start spraying we're going to start from the top and kind of work in a circular motion around the whole vinyl this ensures that all the edges are covered and all the space is covered in a full motion I'm going to keep going over it a little bit more, uh, going the opposite way this time just to cover those spaces as well. You'll be able to tell that you have it finished when it's fully glossy like this and then you can just set it down and let it sit for a couple hours. Now we're jumping on to how I hang my vinyl records. My vinyl records. All right, so here's how I hang them at home. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to do it, but this is just like the easiest way if you want to. All right guys, so you're gonna do this in three steps. You're gonna take a tack, you're gonna place your vinyl against the wall, 
and then you're gonna push that tack through that hole in the center of the vinyl. And that's it, you have hung your own vinyl record. So go ahead and like this video, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch y'all later. Goodbye.